Hello everyone. Early this morning, the Escanaba power plant substation exploded. But the cause has taken a backseat to the main issue, restoring the community's power and more importantly, heat. TB6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Jessica Stevenson has been following the story since 1.30 this morning, just minutes after the explosion. We have declared a local state of emergency, which lets the state know, hey, we may be in trouble here right now. At a press conference this afternoon, city officials gathered. According to the city manager, Escanaba residents will be experiencing rolling blackouts while a temporary substation is set up. Right now, the load's all on our west side substation up by Charter Communication, and that substation can't carry all the load. That's why we have to go to the rolling uh, uh, power outages to, to, to maintain the load. While your power is connected, city officials are asking you use the energy sparingly except for your heat. Or when you are energized within your home, uh, you could carry your heater a little higher temperature than you normally would. So that way when your heat is shut down or your, or your power is lost, that you would have, uh, you would stay warmer longer. If this method is not keeping your home warm enough, there are multiple warming centers across the city, including the Civic Center. They are staying open throughout the night, and the Red Cross is providing cots and food. We're glad to be someplace warm, <laughs> and hopefully, it won't, uh, hopefully this won't be too much longer. City officials say the best case scenario would be having the power restored in 18 to 24 hours. Jessica Stevenson, TV6 News, Escanaba.